Hey there, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. And welcome. This is an exclusive for Nicole's channel. So uh, for those that may be unfamiliar, I am a tarot reader. And let's just see what maybe we could pull a few cards for Libra and see what's in store for you, possibly for October 2020. So I hope you're all doing fabulous and great. So when the going gets tough, the tough get going, don't they, Libra? You are an air sign and you actually have the same planet as I do planet Venus planet of love all right so this is very generalized this is not gender specific this can go vice versa all right possibly you do not have Libra anywhere in the breakdown of your astrological chart but that's okay if you landed across this this uh, message could very well be for you seems to help people and also uh, Libra let's just see what the uh, cards have to say for October 2020 Ooh, we've got the strength card right here number eight all right uh, it says fortitude down there look at that tiger isn't the imagery on these cards beautiful uh, eye of the tiger that song just came up not giving up having that strength you know and I understand that Libra's well a lot of us have been going through difficult times right now all right but I love it how she has the um, you know the arms it's like I just don't have enough you know hands arms to do so many different things and I understand that you are all in different areas of your life some of you could be in a relationship some of you could be totally okay with being single and my Libras out there uh, you know they they kind of catch a lot of flack I'm not a Libra I'm a Taurus but I do have Libra uh, in the astrological breakdown of my chart all right so you've got your options honey and people get kind of jealous of you not kind of they just do all right and you're just sitting there almost like this tiger here in the sun all right and it's just like all right absorbing that positive energy um, I'm not sure if any of you well I mean you don't really have to be a psychic or tarot reader to know that everyone's been hurt in the past those are just pure facts all right uh, this is also a protection also feeling like you're having to protect yourself you know against uh, po uh, maybe some negative influence that may have tried coming into your life or possibly people being like oh should have would have could have season shouldn't have cheated on you or lied to you or this or that and it's just like well you know I'm looking for a person here that is on my level I'm looking for someone I could have fun with my Libras out there they love to have fun and that's what I love about them my air signs you know some of you they say the consensus say that air signs typically work well with other air signs but again everybody is different you know feel free to leave comments below on what signs work well with with you uh, and so when we're talking air signs for someone that may be unfamiliar you could be possibly talking about Libra 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 Gemini also maybe even Libra Aquarius all right but you do have that strength if you feel like you're going through this right now alone understand your angels and your spirit guides do have your back here also too I'm noticing something here about you know the King Triton thing uh, if you've ever seen that movie for example the Little Mermaid you know she wanted that voice all right and uh, but she had to uh, she was a mermaid all right and she wanted to be a human being so she'd go to her father and be like you know uh, she had a beautiful singing voice but sometimes I'm only mentioning that because sometimes when we're speaking are people actually really listening to what we're saying or are they just you know doing this all right uh, and cross watcher again you could be like hey a Libra did me dirty a Libra did me wrong honey uh, you know prayers and blessings and the right one will come along for you so let's pull a couple more cards okay okay uh, for you now this is really interesting because I've pulled this card for uh, it was either Aries Taurus Gemini Cancer possibly Leo uh, maybe even Virgo it's a death card and before you panic and get scared now uh, some of you possibly we could have dealt with the death of you know a loved one friend a pet so many prayers and blessings going out there to you uh, or possibly taking care of somebody all right but this is a real positive card as far as I'm seeing for you it could possibly mean the death of a situation that no longer served you all right that was dragging you down I mean because look at what we have here and that could be in any area of your life some of you could also be working with water signs as well when it comes to water signs you could possibly be working with a Pisces Scorpio you know 
all right, maybe even a cancer. But look at this. We've got the seven here. Who's picking up the broken pieces, all right? Uh, and it's just like, I'm leaving this behind. He's picked up what he can, leave the rest behind. I feel like, um, and again, if you're in a very happy relationship, then this message may not be for you. But um, this is just kind of general uh, readings here. So this is pretty much letting you know that you do have the strength of what it takes. You're here now. You're breathing now. And it is for a reason. Uh, again, very quick video, very generalized. Thank you so much, Nicole. Uh, you know, totally subscribe and like to, uh, Nicole. She is a wonderful coach, wonderful teacher, wonderful mentor, and I highly recommend her. She has helped me greatly and continues to do so. Thank you. And until next time.